Okay, so I'm just going to talk through what I need to focus on this run. So, <clears throat> um, really not too much in the intro section, just, yeah, I mean, if I could get the quick turnaround, that'd be good. If I could get log skip, that would be good. I got log skip last run, which is pretty cool. Um, just really focus on not doing extra spins, because that's where I lose the most time. And try to get the back lock when I'm going up the staircase at the end. If I can do all that stuff, I'll have an 840 or lower easily. Um, and then... For the next part, just get the backwalk into the inn and the backwalk out of the inn. That would save a lot of time. Um, and don't fail the songs. Like, those are really the only two things that I'm not consistently doing. That if I consistently did, would save time. Is getting the two backwalks. It's always the backwalks. Backwalks are tricky this game because of the way if you start holding back too early before the cameras finish changing it'll not work <sighs> and then, yeah, if I could just not mess up on the file name, that could save four seconds, well, three seconds, probably. But yeah, otherwise, the last one was really good. Like, it was pretty solid. There were a couple small mistakes, but it wasn't... None of it was awful until the end. Go. I did not get the quick turnaround, but... Oh my god, I got log skip! Hell yeah! <laughs> That's twice in a row that I did not get quick turnaround, but I got log skip. <laughs> Funny thing is, is I think that quick turnaround would have actually saved more time there than log skip did. But... <laughs> just because, like, the way I failed quick turnaround was really bad. Like, it wasn't even... I didn't even get a turnaround was the issue. Thanks for the nice. It sucks when the time that you get a cool trick is when you fail the easy trick. <laughs> and they end up canceling each other out. Either entirely or greater than entirely. Which is what happens here. But Hey, if, if I can keep getting log skip, then on the runs where I get quick turnaround too, that'll be an easy, like, one or two second time save.
I should have got more water before starting this run. I want to be kind of thirsty for the rest of it. Get in. Get in. Oh my god. Nice time loss. <laughs> Spinning is just the worst time loss. It sucks. Okay, yeah, this is not gonna be a great time, but... Yeah, I'm losing two seconds here, assuming I don't mess anything else up. Oh my god, well... <laughs> That was another mess up, but it could have been worse than it was, so... I'll probably lose like three seconds. Oh wow, only two. Damn. It's a nice surprise. That just tells me how much time I have to save on that first bit, though. Like, if I only lost two seconds to my best from that, that means I still have, like, at least two or three seconds to save there. Beyond my best. Angle's a little scuffed, but it's fine. Damn, that was a fast Grandma one. That was a bit slower, but still not terrible. Open the door! No, why did I spin? I'm so mad. Of course, the one time I get the back walk is the time that I spin. Diminishing my gold potential here. Still though, I mean, this this could still gold. Like, the only unoptimal movement was one spin and like a slightly skewed backwalk. So like overall, that probably lost a second, but. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that angle's terrible. Hello? Oh, I want that. Uh, hello? Hey, I landed right in the middle. Nice. I lands in the middle again. Awesome. Man, this is the best rupee RNG ever. <laughs> that was great. You're back, welcome back. This run is pretty decent. It's not quite as good as the last one, but oh my god, good. It uh, it's... this one definitely has potential. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I wish that I had gotten water before this, but... I still had some of my glass, so I wasn't thinking about it, but it just wasn't enough for the run. Imagine if I PB on a thirsty throat. That would be interesting. Wow, I almost messed up that movement, but I saved it at the last second. Nice. This one's pretty good. I just need to really, really focus on not failing the song. Sixteen oh seven, that's pretty good, I think. For entering clock tower. I think with a better first split, and without the few small mistakes I made this time, I could probably get 
sub 16 enter clock tower. Oh wait, why am I? Oh god, I'm only mashing B. I should have mashing A and B. It's confusing because for some text boxes you want to mash only B, and some you want to mash A, B, and C up. Because B advances fast text and also clears text boxes, whereas the other two buttons only clear text boxes. Hey, Lance is right on the ocarina, that's great. 1717. 17. Not too bad. Don't mess up the sun. Don't mess up the sun. If I don't mess up the sun, this is probably gonna gold. Don't mess it up. Okay. Good. I played it a little slower just to make sure I wouldn't mess it up. Alright, I didn't mess it up. Nice. Oh wait. Two. Nice. That was a pretty big goal. That was a 1.8 seconds. a gold too. Nice. Very small gold on that second one, but I'll take it. That's pretty good that the only split that I didn't gold this run was the first one. <laughs> if I gold every split, this is going to be a monster PB. Obviously, the trend is not going to continue. To gold every split. That's unreasonable, but. Actually, you know what? I think I can get water during the. Uh... During one of the cutscenes, maybe? Yeah. Not this cutscene, but the one after this one's pretty long. I'm not going to bother, though. I'm just not going to bother. This run is almost over. I can last for a few more minutes without water.
So yeah, I mean, at this point, all the places to lose time on the menial stuff is over. All the places I could lose time now are from, like, hard tricks, so... Let's just, uh... Let's just try not to do that. That would be so cool if I golded every split, though. If I got every split, that would put me in a really solid third place. Like... I'd be, like... 30 seconds ahead of the third place, or of the fourth place person if I golded every split from here on out. Oh my god, don't get stuck on that thing. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. So much for not losing time on menial stuff anymore. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of time loss just from that stupid movement. Oh well. It's fine. That's what I get for trying to do a different movement than I usually do in the run. Without having practiced it first. Nice! Cold there. Everybody. Come here. Oh my god. Nice waste of time. Trying to get that bomb shoe to hit me and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this run. Sub 25. Enter graveyard. That is pretty awesome. NGL. Ah, uh, damn. I thought I got the, uh, the thing there. What? Go. Did not get the super slide, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, hello? There we go. Hello? Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> I'm panicking now because I'm so far ahead. And Zampe is going to fuck with me. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Oops. Hey, that was a quick correction. I overshot, but then was able to correct it. Come on. Come 
Come on. Thank you. One more. There we go. Okay, hey! This is a PB. It's not a 26, but it's a solid PB. Seven eleven. Honestly, more than the PB, what felt good was getting three golds. Cause like this was a pretty bad PB for how good the run was. Like again, I'm still losing time on the last split. There's no reason for me to lose time on the last split. I have that is where all my time save in this run is. Like, that should be the split that has such a free gold. But I think just when I get there on a good run, I, like, start panicking and don't do as well. But, yeah. Yeah, that could have been... That could have been a mid-26 pretty easily if I had... Um, just got in the quick turnarounds a little faster, and I got the super slide on the first bomb instead of the second bomb, and I didn't have so many extra pause buffers. Like, those three things lost me a ton of time. Although the good news is, is I reclaim my 6th place. I got bopped back down to 7th, but with this run I'll be back to the 6th. So that's cool. And I'm only like 7 seconds away from 5th, and... Oh wait, no, that's not right. Oh no, 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 sorry. I'm 6th, I was 6th. This is going to put me back to 5th. I'll be 7 seconds from 4th, and I'll be, like, 10 seconds from 3rd. So, that's pretty good. See, so yeah, if I get another 10 second PB, I'm going to be 3rd place, but it'll be so easy to bot me if it's only 10 seconds. <laughs> so that's why I really want to get, like, at least a 26. Or a at most a 26. 59. I kind of want to do another run after this. I'm feeling pretty hyped after getting those three golds. Plus, now I have a PB to run against. I don't have to run against best splits anymore. I can just run against PB. Granted, that's going to be pretty similar to running against best splits, but... Maybe if I uh, run against PB, though... It'll make me less likely to fuck up on the last split, because I won't be as nervous, because it won't look like the run is as good as... Or no, that'll make the run look better than it is. I guess. But there will also be more room for error. Because, like, my PB has a really slow last split now. Um, so... Like, instead of being like, oh, I need to get a, you know, 115 on that split, or 130, and just be like, I just need to beat a 2, how long is this? Uh, oh, I don't need a mash anymore, we're done with mashing. Yeah, so let's see here, um, yeah, I got a 2... Seven, all right, a two, seven, yeah. 
I got a 217 on the last split. I could easily get like a 117, but yeah, it should be really easy to beat a 217 next run. That should be like completely free. Getting a 117 would be hard, but yeah. Like if I have a run that was exactly like this, but I got a a two minute last split instead of a 217, that would easily be 26. <laughs> <laughs> The credits are in English on the Japanese game. Uh, yeah. I mean, all the names are Japanese, but it's in letters instead of... Uh, kana. I mean, the logo- the name of the game is also in English. Well, not the name, but like, the logo on the title screen. It says The Legend of Zelda. It doesn't say Zelda no... Zenetsu, whatever the fuck the other part is, uh, something, something like Mabo Majora or something, I don't know. Yeah, the job titles, yeah. But the, like I said, the logo's in English too, so. Do 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 do, do do, do 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 do. God, that note's high. That last note's pretty high. It is Japanese in game. But the credits aren't text boxes. Like, all the text boxes are Japanese, but everything else is English pretty much. Okay, oops, there's nothing here. One credit scene fits all regions, yeah, that's usually what they do. All right, it's almost time for Andrew and Cafe's wedding that we don't get to watch. <laughs> this is a wedding that's happening right now, but they just put black over the screen. Even though I wouldn't be surprised if it was actually rendering in the background. But, um, yeah, it's because I didn't get that mask. If I got that mask, it would show me this the wedding. But instead, I just get to hear the wedding music because I didn't get the mask because I cheated. And credits work straight to the end of the game without doing anything. <laughs> Dirty, rotten cheaters. Any percent runners, I swear. <clears throat> Imagine beating the game without actually doing anything. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. And your persona nowadays is... It's treated almost like a joke just because it's so ridiculous that you can just, like, beat the game without really doing anything. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. I like it. I think it's cool. It's way easier than the last 20%. Because the last 20% was you warped to the moon, but you still had to fight the final boss. But fighting the final boss with, like, no items is, like, really fucking hard. I couldn't do it. It was way too hard for me. But since we're warping to the credits now instead of to the final boss... It's a lot easier, because you don't have to fight the boss. <laughs> the end.